Good morning, boys and girls. Miss Carrie here, and welcome to the third day of VBS. A couple of things that you guys are going to need this morning to get started is make sure that you grab your bag that says day three because it has all your activities inside this. And today you have a cool, um, it's called the Bold Blaster. So this is a really cool thing that's going to teach us all about being bold. So I'm super excited for you guys to use this. And then Sierra, the lion is going to be with us today and she's going to be the animal that's going to be teaching us about the power of Jesus and how that makes us bold. So on the back of your card that you're gonna be taking out this morning, it says he gives power to the weak and strength to the powerless. And that is in Isaiah chapter 40, verse 29. So you can try to look that up in your Bible if you have time. Another thing I want you guys to grab is your Spark Bibles. Because the story that you're going to hear today is in your Spark Bible on page, I believe it's on 506. So maybe as a bedtime story, you guys can read that story to reinforce everything that you learned today. So the story today is about a man who couldn't walk. And so every day these people, these people would carry him and set him outside the temple by these gates. And because the man couldn't walk, he couldn't work for money for food. So he would sit out there and he would put his hands together and he would ask for money so that he could have food and he could live and have all the things that he needed. Well, one day, Peter and John were walking to the temple to pray. It was about three o'clock in the afternoon. And as they got to the gate, there was a beggar asking them for money. Well, Peter and John said, we don't have any money to give you, but we have something better to give you. And so Peter looked at the man and he said, in Jesus' name, get up and walk. Well, that man, he got up and he started walking. Can you believe that? Can you imagine what it would be like not to walk for like 40 years? And then one day this man comes up and says these simple words to you. And then you get up and you start walking. It's a wonderful story. It's the power of Jesus. And I just love that story. So I want you guys to um, think about that story. Think about what it would be like if you couldn't walk. Put yourself in that situation of being that man. What would it be like for you not to walk? And maybe you could do a little game at home where maybe you could pretend like you couldn't walk and family members could pick you up and carry you and put you maybe at the kitchen table so that you could kind of put your uh, put yourself in the spot of the man that couldn't walk. Well, when Peter and John came and said this to this guy and this guy got up and started walking, it caused such a commotion. And all these people started to gather around. Well, the one thing you would think that this would cause some excitement, right? So the man that couldn't walk was excited, but the people in Jerusalem, they didn't really like Jesus very much. And so when they heard this, this really made them upset. And so they actually put Peter and John in jail for the night. And when they released him the next day, they said, do not talk about Jesus. So what Peter and John did is they went back to their Christian friends and they said to them, they told them the whole story about what happened, told them about the man at the gate, told them how he couldn't walk and how they said, in the name of Jesus, get up and walk. And he did. And they said, that, gosh, we made these people so angry. They took us and they threw us in jail for the night. And then when they released us, they said, nope, don't talk about that Jesus. Don't talk about that Jesus man again. And so what these people did, they said, well, let us get together and let us pray. And prayer has so much power. And praying, it makes us bold. Praying gives us, it makes us bold. And it makes us able to go and do things and talk about Jesus. So I want you guys to always remember to pray. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to pray for us so that you guys can go ahead and get started with your VBS. Pastor Leslie will be here tomorrow with the Bible Point, and I'll be back on Friday. But 
Let me pray for us before I say goodbye. Jesus, thank you for always being with us. It's comforting to know we're never alone. When we feel like we're the only ones who believe in you, when we feel like we're the only ones facing tough stuff, you're right beside us, giving us your strength, your love and boldness. We love you and thank you. In your name, amen. Bye, have a great day at VBS and don't forget to send in your videos and pictures. Bye.